The MSC Environment, Politics and Development is about the human environmental relations that are fundamentally implicated in processes of global environmental problems, poverty and inequality alike. Since at least the 1960s, environmental activists and movements have been raising the concern that our pursuit of economic growth has truly dire global environmental consequences. But they don't always ask the deeper questions of why the business as usual outlook that privileges economic growth persists in the way that it does. If we want to change it, we need to understand and explain this persistence. So to get a handle on this uh, deeper question, we introduce students to different theoretical frameworks that help understand uh, how different social subjects, different classes, different ethnic groups uh, appropriate, transform and value nature. Our approach means coming to environment and development from a critical perspective. For instance, it means asking not just how to tackle climate change, but also how to do it in a way that will not continue to reproduce local and global inequalities, but will begin to fundamentally transform the way our societies are organized and our environment produced. We also examine the scope and prospects for bringing about change. We survey environmental social movements in the Global South, from indigenous groups in India resisting mining, to peasant farmers across Latin America engaged in struggles against dominant forms of agrarian change. Ultimately, we ask, can capitalism be reformed to be environmentally sustainable and socially just? Or do we need instead to identify, explore and commit to alternatives to development as usual? What I found really insightful is how the curriculum is really rooted in contemporary events and environmental issues. Um, so that what we've really done is rooted our understanding in the social and political context of current environmental um, crises. I found it very insightful to get a global perspective on political issues. I think mainstream academia can kind of be quite North American and Euro focused. Whereas um, throughout my course, we've, uh, we've done a lot of learning based uh, on case studies in throughout uh, Asia, Latin America and uh, Africa. And I think that's been, um, it's been very interesting for me. The MSc is taught by leading academics who do research and contribute to shaping agendas within critical environmental scholarship. Many of them are also engaged in forms of advocacy and activism related to issues covered across the programme. Our mission is to help people who are already involved in environment and development or who are looking to get involved in this area to acquire the knowledge, skills and perspective for making the next step. So part of this is practical in terms of, for instance, having seminars on career seminars on environment and development. But part of it is about encouraging critical reflection on what it means to work professionally in environment and development and posing the questions, to what extent does that work contribute to the change you want to be part of, and to what extent does it permit business as usual to persist?